In this video we're going to go over uh, generally how to create content on the website as a member. So when you're logged into the site on every page except the home page you'll see this left hand navigation uh, block and it has a quick link to all the different kinds of content that you're able to add. And we're going to pick wedding venues as our test subject if you will and, but we're going to kind of concentrate more on the general fields that apply to all the content types and some general editing tricks and tips and such. So we'll pick wedding venue here. And we're going to say my wedding venue as the title. The contact details, this is what gets listed on your record on the site for uh, visitors to the website to see. Uh, this is not used for the Google Map uh, address and in fact for the region uh, it's quite difficult to get Google Maps to recognize an exact address as they don't seem to be able to uh, pick up the addresses from your region so uh, and we'll get to that in, a, in a, just a minute here so I'm just gonna fill in some basic 123 Main Street and I'll just leave this information blank you can put in some directions on how to get uh, to your location if you wish and this will be displayed beside the Google Map and then your, of course the rest of it, your website and email address and phone number and such. Uh, most of the content types except for festivals and organized events have the seasons. So you want to select which seasons that the record you're creating applies to, i.e. What, what seasons it's open. Um, if you're uh, creating a skiing record for example in the uh, outdoor recreation section you're not going to fill in that that's available in the summertime. Uh, the body is simply the description your, your, um, for your record, so you're going to type in as many paragraphs as you'd like here. You don't want it to be too, too long. Um, most, uh, most of you have websites that you can link to that might have more information. And you can do things, um, this is my test record, you can do things such as bolding the text and doing some bullet lists. Test 1, test 2, test 3, you can highlight click the bullet list or maybe you want a numbered list instead and if you want to indent an outdent um, you don't want to get too crazy with some of these things because it can really kind of affect the, the nice the nice aesthetics to how your uh, your listing looks on the website so we do give you the ability to link off to other sites if you wish to and we have this link button here so your best bet for this section is to just kind of hover your mouse over each of these and it'll give you a little description on what uh, each of the icons will do for you the edit summary. So this is what ha the body, the full body, is what you'll see when you're list when you're looking at the full detail record. Uh, so if I'm looking at just my wedding venue, when you're in the wedding venues listing page that lists all the wedding venues, uh, it will take the first X characters out of this section, or you can write a specific paragraph that'll be used uh, that you might want to, you know, tweak for just that listing page. So then you would type that in here too. This is my summary. Now coming down here we have our listing image so that's what gets shown on the listing page as well as your details page. So we're going to pick choose file and I'll just pick a random image here. These are some camping images from the region. So and you will be able to, you don't have to worry about the size of your photos, you'll get you can upload any image and then you'll see this little crop box so you just kind of move that around and you can crop out and it'll let you it'll only let you pick you'll see that the aspect ratio so the width and the height kind of stays the same um, in relation to each other as you move that make that box bigger so you just click and drag and then you can move it around and say okay that's what I want to use right there and if you want to make that a little bigger we can do that and the website will automatically resize those pictures for uh, the two locations and you'll see what I mean in a minute and pictures this is your picture gallery that gets displayed in the tabs at the bottom of your record so if we say choose new file here and we can upload we'll just do one or two pictures here there's no cropping here it just uploads the full picture and it will resize them to a maximum size if you put a title in for your image, I'll just say camping by the shore, then uh, users will actually see that title when they're looking at your picture gallery. And so I'll just upload one more photo here. And so this will be the full size photo of what we uploaded for our listing image earlier. 
Oh, it's a different, slightly different, not really different enough, but good enough for our test. So the location information at the bottom, so this is for the Google Maps. So we can put in a name and your street information and all the other information and Google will try to find the pin location for you but often what I'm finding for the region is that it's not able to. So your best bet is if you know your Latin long you can type them in here exactly or you can zoom in on this map to wherever you need to and you can actually just click on the map and it will create the pin where you want and if you do it accidentally that's not where I want my pin you just click it and drag it and, and move it over there. So I'm going to go down and then we just save our record. And when you save the record, it'll bring you right to the record that you just created. So you can see there's the information I filled in. I didn't finish filling in my phone number. That's why that looks a little funny there. Uh, our seasons are everything but winter, so they're a little brighter color. Our image is sized the way we want it in the corner here. The ability to add to the visitor can add to their planner. And we see our picture gallery. So if you click any of the pictures in the picture gallery, you just click and it comes up and you'll see camping by the shore came up there and my wedding venue and it'll it starts actually as a slideshow and but users can pause the slideshow at any time if they want and just go through picture by picture and then our map and directions you'll see this is where I put the pin on if we go out a little bit it, it auto sizes so that the pin is centered on the map and it brings it into us to a certain location so if we come out here you can see get a better idea of that's where I actually put the pin on the map and then comments and testimonials this is an automatic tab on your record so visitors to the site are able to put their comments in for your record and somebody with uh, one of the website administrators uh, is responsible for approving contents or uh, comments rather so that's generally how to create records throughout the site uh, most of what I showed you there are common and we'll have some further videos for some of the more complicated um, content types such as accommodation and the festivals and organized events where there's a few fields that are a little bit different and uh, we'll cover those in another video.